Hey there moviegoers, this is Alice again with another edition of Talkies. This week I want to talk to you guys about Unstoppable. Unstoppable is the new action thriller from director Tony Scott, starring Denzel Washington, Chris Pine, and featuring Rosario Dawson. This film, based on true events, is about a runaway train hauling dangerous chemicals at immense speeds into highly populated areas, and the many, many attempts to stop it. The most important of which being an engineer and a conductor trainee who realize they're the only ones who have the ability to stop it. Tony Scott, the director of Unstoppable, is probably best known for his directorial efforts Top Gun, Enemy of the State, Deja Vu, Man on Fire, and The Taking of Pelham 123. Now I've seen most of his better known films, and his style is like nothing else out there. And this movie Unstoppable was a perfect place for him to show off, if you will. The movie's look made for an amazing viewing experience. He uses a kind of shaky cam technique. At some parts it kind of plays like a documentary, but still feels like a narrative. It was some of the most fun I've had actually watching the movie in a long, long time. So first in the cast is Denzel Washington. Now, I've never been really huge on Washington, but I do have to agree that he's got a lot of talent. In Unstoppable, he somehow manages to play a very familiar character but still gives you something new. He had a refreshing sense of humor, a lot of heart, and a certain nobility that really made you respect both his character and Washington as an actor. So Chris Pine is kind of an up-and-coming actor. He's probably most popular for taking on the role of Captain James T. Kirk in the recent reboot of the original Star Trek. When I first saw Pine, I thought, he's just a face. He's something for the ladies to look at. But now I'm kind of eating my words. He is a great actor, and if Star Trek didn't convince you, then Unstoppable surely will. He's relatively new to the whole leading man role, and considering that, he seems to be right at home. His performance was so real, so fun, and it just wouldn't be the same movie without him. So lastly is Rosario Dawson, best known for Sin City, Clerks 2, Rent, a couple others, and she's probably one of my favorite actresses around today. Because she's always so much fun to watch, she always does a great job, and I mean, look at her. Enough said. In Unstoppable, she plays a very friendly and good-humored character, with a bit of a powerful streak in her. I loved her part, which was being the link between Denzel Washington and Chris Pine's character, and the major railroad corporations, who later asserts herself and takes a little bit of charge. It was just another really great performance from Dawson. So I loved this movie. It was the epitome of sitting on the edge of your seat. They were throwing all kinds of emotions at you. Scared, excited, comedy, action. My heart was racing, my legs were fidgeting, I was getting goosebumps, I was flinching, and then I was laughing at the hysterical chemistry between Washington and Pine. It was like saturation of crazy emotion. But it never got to be too much. They put you right in the heat of the moment. Train thumping people yelling, crashes, sparks flying, and then they'd pull the rug right out from underneath you and the next scene would be dead silent. It made me feel like, ah! I'm shaking just thinking about it. And the way the story was told is the most creative and subtle way I've ever seen. It seamlessly weaves in and out of news reports and helicopter shots, and there were all kinds of snap zooms and quick camera movements. But not like in the Blair Witch way, more like in the office way, just on steroids. This movie had me clutching my knee and the stranger next to me's knee. Got kind of a weird look from that one. I mean, as far as suspense and edge of your seat action goes, this movie rivals Inception. I can't decide which one had me shaking more. In conclusion, I would like to give Unstoppable a solid 10 out of 10. This movie got me so amped and so excited, and it's a must-see movie for sure. So that is it for this week's edition of Talkies. Signing off for FingerLakes1.com, my name is Alex Sinecropi, and what I really want to do is direct. I'll see you guys later. At